So let's start standing up on the mat. Um, and then just, just mentioning for those who are later arrivals, um, we're going to do yoga nidra at the end of this class. So we're going to do a vigorous class followed by yoga nidra. Um, and so if you need anything like a bolster, some blankets around for that part of the practice, um, just bear that in mind. You'll have time to get them later. Um, we're going to take the feet nice and wide apart, softness in the knees, and then just bounce into your feet a little to feel your connection with your mat. And if you're not practicing on a mat, that's fine. But if you are, this is your time to energetically connect with your yoga space. Um, and it's, it's quite a nice thing to start your practice with. So connecting down to your mat, once you feel that firm connection in the feet, lift yourself really tall and begin twisting from side to side. And here you can firm the abdominal muscles, but soften the shoulders, the arms, the fingers. And notice how you, your body feels as you begin to move this way. Do you have stiffness in your back in any area, your hips, your shoulders, your neck, your chest? We're just noticing so that we can ease through areas of practice. Here, we're going to let the arms tap the body or the hands tap the body. And then move away from the body. So we want a sort of, it's like a controlled flinging of the arms. Let your head follow the movement. You can close your eyes here if you want to, if that doesn't make you feel dizzy. Don't do that if it does. And we're going to move the hands up the body. So if you've been tapping low down, moving the hands up to tap around about your waist. So the side of the waist and the back of the waist. Giving yourself a... Um, you don't have to thump, but you want a, a sort of nice, firm contact with the hands and the body. And then moving the hands up again, so that perhaps you bend the elbow a little bit more, get your hand up behind you at the back, and touch the shoulder or the chest in front as well. And you can be twisting as slowly or as quickly as you choose. And if you hear the occasional thumping or creaking, it's actually the conservatory warming up in the sunshine. It's not me, I promise. We've been doing this for quite a long time. And that's okay, you can do this for five minutes, 15 minutes. In some disciplines, they do it for that length of time, but we're going to gently begin to ease our movement. So slow it down and let the body return back to standing steady. When you come back to standing steady, maybe your knees are still soft. So lengthen through the legs. You don't need to lock the knees, but lengthen through the legs, lengthen through the crown of the head. Maybe turn the palms forward, close the eyes or gaze downward and just observe the effect of your practice. Feel the tingling in the fingertips, the vibration of energy from your center through your body. Notice the effect that this has had. You can actually breathe more into the rib cage now. You can expand through the whole torso with your breath. Take a few deeper breaths, feeling your way into those spaces with your breath. And one last deep breath. 
As you exhale, bringing the hands to Namaste, just gently lift the chest and take the chin towards the chest as much as you need to, to feel a stretch down the back of your neck. Not pressing or pushing through any resistance in the body, just allowing it to be there. Smiling to yourself to release as much tension as you can from your neck, your shoulders, your throat, your chest. And when you're ready, raising your head, releasing your hands, and we will begin our sun salutation. So we're going to bring the feet together and I'm going to move to the top of my mat. So the feet can be anything from hip width apart to really touching the big toes together. So it depends on what suits you the best. Um, and as you look down at your toes, maybe lifting them up, spreading them out, and releasing the toes as individually as you can to the mat. And once you've done that, just feeling that the foot is long, checking your feet are straight so the second and third toes are in front of your ankles, in front of your heels. And with the foot gently spreading, not gripping the mat, feel that lift into the, set, into the crown of the head, lifting tall, engaging the abdominal muscles, drawing the shoulder blades slightly back, slightly down, turning the palms forward, making sure that your head is centered over your body. If you need to give your head a few um, turns, you can make some figure of eights with your nose, you can retract your chin, do some gentle turning from side to side. And then we will begin with a deep breath in and exhale through the mouth. And then we'll start. Deep breath in. Exhaling the hands to Namaste. Inhale as you reach the arms up, just lengthening up to begin with, lifting in the belly. And as you exhale, soften your knees and fold forward, hands towards the feet, head towards the knees. And here we're going to just stop and uh, explore our way into our forward bend. So try rolling your shoulder blades down the back to broaden the space between the shoulders and the uh, sides of the neck. And just ease through the neck, maybe turning gently side to side with the head or gently nodding, if that feels good. Here, with the knees very bent or, or even just a little soft, you can extend through one leg a little bit more and then soften that knee, extend through the opposite leg. Maybe just going a little bit side to side, feeling where your stiffness is. And that's okay, we're, we're not about uh, not having stiffness. Stiffness is completely normal. It's actually called fuzz, um, and I will explain it a different day, but that is a technical anatomical term. And then we'll just, from the forward bend, prepare by engaging the abdominal muscles and on your next breath in, step your right foot back towards the back of the mat. Bring your right knee down and just looking slightly forward. We don't want to avoid lifting the chin usually here, but we're going to articulate through the neck today. So shoulder blades back and down, belly muscles lifted, just lifting your chin, feeling a, 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 an opening through the throat, and then tucking your chin towards your chest. Maybe just lengthening through the back of the neck there. Now one more time up. And down. And then from the down position, pressing the hands, taking a breath in and then holding your breath as you come into plank pose. First plank of the day, try to get your plank set up really well. So really lifting in the belly, pressing your heels back, engaging your quadriceps so you sort of lift your legs. Press the, the mat away from you, so you're lifting your chest away from the floor as well. And taking a deep breath in. As you exhale, knees, chest, and forehead or chin to the floor. Point your toes, let your hips become flat. Roll your shoulder blades towards each other and gently lift your chest. As you exhale, lower your chest towards the floor, firm the belly muscles. Let's do that one more time, inhaling up. 
Elbows are quite close to the body, exhaling down. And again, inhaling up. Exhaling down. Apologies if I said one more time. One more time, inhaling up. And exhaling down. Touch your forehead to the floor to release the back of the neck. Tuck the toes under and then press up into hands and knees. And from hands and knees, come up into downward facing dog. So we're doing gentle transitions on our first round. And here in downward dog, easing through the backs of the legs, the back line of the body, we're, we're lengthening it with every movement, easing one heel towards the mat and then the other. Pressing through not just the fingertips, the base of the fingers, the heels of the hands. So we spread the load throughout the whole of the hand, engaging all the muscles of the arm, the shoulder, the chest, the upper back. Very good. Inhale onto both tiptoes and exhale both heels towards the mat. Lifting in the belly muscles. Just softly bounce your knees a little bit and then we're going to bounce forwards and backwards. So we're going to bounce the um, shoulders forward to the wrists and back, forwards and back, forwards and back. And then this time, inhale, step your right foot forward to your hands, drop your left knee down to open your chest. And here we're going to go backwards and forwards in this position as well. So we're going to lengthen the front leg. Try keeping your hands on the floor where they are if you can and your toe towards the floor if you can as well. Taking the hips a little bit towards the back heel and then coming forwards and back into your lunge, rolling your shoulder blades to open your chest, lengthening through the back of the neck. Lengthening the hips back towards the heel, lengthening the front leg, toes towards the floor if you can. If you need to walk your hands back towards you, that's absolutely fine. Just do what feels right for your body. And we're going to come the other way. Now we're going to do this, but with the heel on the floor and the toes lifted. So pressing through the front leg is long, it's lengthening, toes pointing up towards the ceiling. And coming forwards again, lifting in the belly and transitioning. Long front leg, toes lifted. Coming back into your lunge. Opening the chest as you look forward, inhaling and preparing to move forward. Exhaling, step both feet to the front and fold into your forward bend with nice soft knees. Roll the shoulder blades back and down. Just giving the neck a little bit of length here. We'll take one more deep breath in. And a slow, steady breath out. Then we're going to come up. Inhale as you look forward, lift the belly, lift the arms. Reach for the sky and exhale. Namaste. Wonderful stuff. Inhale as you stand tall, turning the palms forward, lengthening through the crown of the head, lifting the belly. Exhale. Namaste. Inhale, reach for the skies again. We just watched Toy Story. Sorry about that. Soften the knees and fold forward as you exhale, hands to feet and head to knees. Roll the shoulder blades down the back. Let's just lengthen through the sides of the neck again. Gentle twisting from side to side or a gentle nodding if that suits you. If no movement suits you, that's okay. Just holding. You'll get a sense of release there. On your next inhalation, you're going to step the left leg back, take the knee to the mat and open the chest. And then here, just rolling the shoulders back and down, lifting in the belly, lifting the chin up to begin with, and then tucking the chin towards the chest. A nice steady movement. You don't have to go further than is comfortable for your body. Just trying to feel those patterns of stiffness, be aware of them in your practice. This time, as you draw the chin towards the chest, prepare to move, take a deep breath in, untuck your back knee and come into plank pose. And again, in plank, trying to set up planks so that we always hit a really good plank. 
you want to really avoid sagging the hips towards the um, floor. It's better to have your hips further away from the floor than it is to have them towards the floor. It compresses the back. We're going to roll the shoulder blades down the back, lengthen through the crown of the head, lift the belly, press the mat away from you, create space between the chest and the floor, lengthen through the back, the heels and the backs of the legs. And then as you exhale, knees, chest and forehead or chin, point your toes, roll your shoulder blades towards each other, lift the belly muscles and inhale into a low cobra. Elbows are really tight to the body. You're so low you could take your hands off the floor here. Exhaling as you come down. And forehead towards the floor. Inhaling firm in the belly, lifting just gently, opening the chest, exhaling down. One more like this, inhaling up. And exhaling down. And coming as you inhale into hands and knees. And as you exhale into downward facing dog. In your downward dog, you can again explore the position of the neck, easing side to side or with a gentle nod, easing through one heel at a time as you walk your dog. And when you're ready, if you feel ready, just checking your arms are really strong, maybe a soft bend in the arms, bending the knees quite deeply and wriggling your tailbone from one side to the other to explore the sides of the body, the hips opening, lengthening the sides of the low back. And firmness in your center, firmness in your abdominal muscles will really help here as well. Coming back to center, inhale as you lengthen through the legs, exhale, heels towards the left. And get bouncy in the knees, bounce forwards once, three times and then we'll move. Inhale, step the left foot forward to the hands, opening the chest. Exhale as you roll the shoulder blades together and just think about lifting the belly muscles. Let's inhale as we lengthen the front leg, heels, uh, sorry, hips towards the heels, toes towards the floor. And coming forwards again, we'll do one more like that. We're lengthening the front leg, hips towards the heel at the back toes towards the floor at the front, coming forward. And now we'll lift the toes as we extend through the heel of the left leg, lengthening the left leg, nice. Just exploring where you've got that uh, stiffness, one more time like that. And coming back into your lunge position. Inhale as you roll the shoulder blades, lift the belly, and exhale as you step forward into your standing forward bend. And here we're going to do a little waving forward bend coming into our, uh, it's called a forward lifting or an upward lifting forward bend, which just sounds very odd, but that's what the Sanskrit translates as, it's very funny. So we're going to take the hands onto the shins or the thighs if you prefer, roll your shoulder blades together, lift your belly muscles, and bring your torso halfway up so you sort of float away from the floor and then exhale as you fold towards your legs creating a deeper forward bend rolling the shoulder blades towards each other lengthen the arms lengthen the legs lifting the belly lengthening the back tucking the chin maybe a little towards the chest and exhaling down we we'll do one more like that roll the shoulder blades together lifting the belly Lengthening arms, legs and back and exhaling as you fold. Release the backs of the hands towards the floor, soft in the knees. For a deep breath in and sigh out through your mouth. And then to come up, we'll lift the belly, lift the arms, look forward, drop the bottom a little and stretch. Exhaling. Namaste. Inhale as you stand tall, turning the palms forward. And exhale, bring the hands to the center of the chest. We'll move quicker through now, inhaling, reaching up, opening the chest. 
Exhaling as you fold forward, soften the knees if you need to, coming into your forward bend. Inhale, step your right foot back, knee to the mat as you open your chest, lengthen the back of the neck. Hold your breath as you come into plank pose, look ahead of your mat, lift your belly. Exhaling, knees, chest and chin or forehead to the floor. Point your toes, firm the belly, inhale as you roll the shoulders open, cobra. Exhale, hips up, heels down or transition of your choice into downward facing dog. And in your down dog, you can still lengthen through your legs, still paddle your feet, but try really hard every time you come into down dog to set up your hands, your arms, your shoulders. So fingertips in contact with the mat, base of fingers in contact with the mat, heels of hands engaged with the mat. Inner elbows may be rolling ever so slightly forward. Feel that uh, gliding of the shoulder blades down, pressing of the chest back towards the thighs, lifting in the belly muscles, lifting in the tailbone, and ease your heels towards the floor. Hold for a breath in and a breath out, and then we'll get bouncy knees. We'll bounce three times, bouncing forwards once, Twice, we're gonna step on the third. Inhale, step the right foot forward to the hands, opening the chest, looking forward. Exhaling both feet to the front, hands to feet and head to knees. To come up, look forward, lift the belly, lift the arms, lift the chest. And exhale, namaste. Inhale, release the arms, turn the palms forward. Exhale, hands to the center of the chest. Inhale, reaching up, opening the chest. Exhale as you fold forward, hands to feet, soften the knees if you need to. Inhale, step the left foot back, knee to the mat as you look forward, lifting in the belly, holding your breath as you come into plank pose. Exhaling, knees, chest and chin or forehead. Point your toes, lift your belly, roll your shoulder blades together as you inhale into cobra. And then firm in the belly, exhale, hips up, heels down, downward facing dog. You don't need to keep your heels down, you can paddle, but setting up your arms as you did before, from fingertips all the way to the shoulders, to the tailbone, and then down the backs of the legs to the heels. We'll take two more deep breaths. Use your Ujjayi breath if you're feeling a breath challenge there. And then we're bouncing on the knees forward three times. Bouncing once, twice, and then stepping forward as we bounce the third time, inhaling, opening the chest, lifting in the belly muscles, exhaling, both feet to the front, hands to feet, and folding into your forward bend. Then to come up, inhale, look forward, lift the arms, lift the chest, Open the front of the body, belly muscles lifted too, and exhale, namaste. Inhale, release the arms, turn the palms forward, lengthen to the crown of the head. Exhale, hands to namaste. Inhale, reaching up, opening the chest. Exhale as you fold forward, lifting in the belly as you fold. Inhale, step the right foot back, knee to the mat as you open the chest, looking forward. Hold your breath as you transition into plank pose, lifting the belly, looking forward. Exhaling, knees, chest and chin or forehead. Point your toes, inhale, roll the shoulder blades towards each other, opening the chest. Exhale, hips up, heels down, downward facing dog. And here in your down dog, now you have the opportunity of getting your hair stuck to your face, in my case. Oh, no, you have the opportunity of uh, holding if you're happy to hold. And if you prefer not to hold for uh, a few breaths, you can keep your knees nice and soft. You can wriggle the hips from side to side. You can keep paddling through your feet. Um, if you prefer, we'll take one more deep breath in here. And deep breath out. And then we'll start bouncing. So we're bouncing on our knees forward once forward twice and then on the third time we inhale stepping the right foot forward to the front 
And then exhale, both feet to the front, hands to feet and head to knees. Inhale to come up, look forward, lift the arms, lift the chest, stretch and exhale, namaste. Inhale, release the arms, turn the palms forwards, lengthen through the crown of the head, drop the shoulders. Exhale, hands to the center of the chest. Inhale, reaching up, lifting through the front of the body, maybe even opening back a little, and exhale, folding forward, hands to feet, head to knees. Inhale, step the left foot back, knee to the mat as you open the chest. Hold your breath as you come into plank. Pose, lifting the chest away from the mat, firm in the belly. Exhale, knees, chest, and chin or forehead. Point your toes, engage the belly. Inhale as you roll the chest and the shoulders away from the mat. Exhale, hips up, heels down, downward facing dog. And here again in your dog, doing anything that feels good a little paddle, a little shimmer a little giggle. Personally, I'm catching my breath, taking a deep breath in and a deep breath out. Then we'll bend our knees and bounce, bouncing the shoulders forward once, twice, and then inhale as you step the left foot forward to the hands, opening the chest, looking forward, and then exhaling both feet to the front, hands to feet and head to knees. Roll the shoulder blades together, lift the belly, inhale to come up and exhale, namaste. Relax the arms to the sides for a moment and we're just going to, to give ourselves a little bit of a, a break, a little bit of a breather. Um, so for a moment you can step your feet a little further apart, roll your shoulder blades a little, roll your shoulders even, sorry, a little. Um, and if you need to release your wrists at this point, it's a good, good point to release the wrists. So today um, we've got an opportunity to work on uh, various aspects of our sun salutation. And the first I want to work, the first thing I want to work on is the uh, lift and fold. Um, so when you are doing your uh, initial posture move from uh, hands at Anjali Mudra and reaching up. I want you to try try this try this next few rounds to keep the arms either side of the ears. So if your shoulders are really really strong, sometimes your arms don't come up this far. They'll be slightly in front, and that's fine. But try to anchor yourself in a position so that when you open you haven't moved the head and the arms away from each other or towards each other. If you've got your arms either side of your ears, it's, it's a little bit easier to know if you've dropped your head because suddenly your ears are not in between your arms and you can see your fingers. So we want to avoid that. We want to keep the arms either side of the ears, shoulders drop down, belly firm, and then all of the opening happens in the upper back. So the head and the neck are fairly neutral here. There's no strain in the neck. You can practice a few times, going backwards and forwards from your upright position into this gentle opening of the front of the body and back to upright before dropping your arms down, giving your shoulders a little bit of a wiggle. So this posture is, is often depicted as a back bend but actually we're stretching the front of the body. That's what we're trying to do with the posture. It's about lengthening the front line of the body before we then come into a forward bend to lengthen the back line of the body. Um, so try not to think of it as bending backwards and more of stretching the front. Cool. Let us come to the front of the mat. We're going to do uh, a couple of quick rounds of sun salutations. So in these ones, we're not going to hold the damn dog at all. We're going to step in, step out. If you need an extra breath to do, to do your transi transition or need any modifications, you take them, okay? So at the top of the mat, standing in Tadasana, rolling the shoulder blades back and down, turning the palms forward, 
lengthening up through the crown of the head. We'll inhale here. And exhale the hands to Namaste, firm in the belly. Inhale, reaching the arms up and seeing if you can open the chest just a little, still anchored in the belly. As you exhale, folding forward, soft knees if you need to, reaching for the floor, coming into your standing forward bend. Firm in the belly, inhale, step the right foot back, knee to the mat as you look forward. Hold your breath as you come into plank pose, looking ahead of the mat again. Exhaling, knees, chest, chin or forehead. Inhaling into cobra, rolling the shoulder blades together. Exhaling into downward facing dog. You hit your down dog and then you inhale, right foot forward to the front again. Exhaling, both feet to the front, hands to feet, head to knees. Inhaling, looking forward, lifting the belly and the arms, standing tall, opening a little if you've got room and exhaling. Namaste. Inhaling, standing tall, Tadasana. Exhaling, hands to the center of the chest. Inhaling, reaching up and open. Exhaling, firm the belly as you fold. Inhaling, left foot back, knee down, open the chest. Hold your breath in. Back. Exhaling, knees, chest and chin or forehead. Point your toes, inhaling, cobra. Exhaling, firm the belly, downward facing dog. Inhaling, left foot forward to the hands, opening the chest. Exhaling, both feet to the front, hands to feet, head to knee. Inhale to come up, look forward, lift the belly, lift the arms, lift the chest. And exhale, namaste. Inhale, tadasana, palms facing forward. Exhaling, hands to the center of the chest. Inhale, reaching up and opening the belly, lift the belly. Exhaling, folding forward, hands to feet, head to knees. Inhale, step the right foot back, open the chest as you look forward. Hold your breath as you come into plank pose, look ahead of the mat. Exhaling, knees, chest, chin, or forehead. Point the toes, inhaling, cobra, roll open your chest. Exhaling, hips up, heels down, downward facing dog. Inhaling as you step the right foot forward, back knee down. Exhaling, both feet to the front, hands to feet, head to knees. Inhale to come up. And exhale, namaste. Inhale as you stand tall. Exhale, hands to namaste. Inhale, reach up and open the chest. Exhale, fold forward and down. Inhale, step the left foot back, knee down, open the chest. Hold your breath as you come into plank pose, look ahead of your mat. Exhale, knees, chest, chin. Inhale, low cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, left foot forward to the hands. Exhale, both feet to the front, standing forward bend. Inhale, look forward, lift the belly, lift the chest, lift the arms. Exhale, Namaste. This time, inhale, Tadasana. Exhale, hands to Namaste. Inhale, reaching up and opening the chest. Exhale, folding forward and down. Inhale, stepping your right foot back and we're going to hold this pose. And we're going to do a little bit of a low lunge. So, back knee is down. If your knee bothers you, you can also do this with the back knee up. And if you do that, you'll need to keep your toe tucked under. If you have the back knee down and you want to, you can untuck your back toe. Up to you really, doesn't make any difference. Uh, it, it's whatever is most comfortable for you. We're gonna firm our bellies. Make sure that your front knee is supported by your foot. So the knee needs to be somewhere over the center of the foot, not further forward than the toes, not behind the heel. Roll your shoulder blades together. Lift in the belly muscles and then inhale the arms up over the head and exhale the shoulders down. Now you may end up in a very lungy lunge. We're going to pulse up and down from here. So we're going to inhale slightly out of the lunge, coming back to more towards proposal position. 
and exhale, coming into your lunge. Inhaling up and exhaling down. Inhaling up and exhaling down. Last time, inhaling up and exhaling down. And then we're going to reach the hands down to the floor, tuck the back toe, lengthen the back leg, breathe in and hold as you come into plank pose. Now here in plank, we're going to do some side planks. And on this round, we're going to do them with the feet apart. So feet apart, you're going to roll your feet to the right and then take your left hand off the floor. So one foot in front of the other, left hand off the floor, press into the space underneath the right armpit and lift your left hand up. If you need to, you can have your left hand here on your uh, waist, if you prefer. So we're gonna try to roll the shoulder blades together, lengthen through the crown of the head, keep the neck long, firm in the belly, lifting the hips as high as feels comfortable, deep breath in and then gently releasing towards the floor. Deep breath out. Deep breath in here in your plank. And then exhale, knees, chest, forehead or chin to the floor. And here, just untucking your arms, creating a pillow out of the hands, resting your forehead on, your, on the backs of your hands, or if you prefer, turning your head to one side. I seem to have lost my hair, so I'm going to just unclip it for now. Turn your toes towards each other, heels apart, and take a deep cleansing breath in. And a long, deep breath out. Deep cleansing breath in. And a long, slow breath out. And the reason why we do that is we've just done something that requires a lot of holding and a lot of effort. And so it's helpful to settle the breath down. Now we're going to take the hands either side of the mat. So around about shoulder height or maybe slightly further forward, chest height. Um, and rolling the thighs towards each other, pressing the pubic bone down. We're going to keep the elbows towards the body. So we're rolling the shoulder blades down the back as well, forehead to the floor, and then gently pressing just the upper body up. So inhaling, pressing into this sort of wide armed cobra, and we're going to exhale down. Inhaling up. And exhaling down. Inhaling up. And exhaling down, we're going to do two more. Firm in the belly as you press up, opening the chest, exhaling down. Last one, inhaling up. And exhaling down. Take your hands back underneath your shoulders, tuck the toes, come back into an extended child's pose. So leaving your hands where they are, taking your hips back, you guys breathe for two minutes while I just sort the hair out again. I don't know why it won't stay today. So softening the effort in your face, shoulders, arms, chest, fingers, wrists. And following your next exhalation, tuck your toes and inhale up into downward facing dog. So here in your down dog, spreading the fingers, firming the hands into the mat, bringing your feet together, firming your belly. And we're going to point the right toes backwards so that the weight is no longer on the right foot. Float the right foot up to hip height first. So just holding here, the belly is really firm. And then we're gonna see how much further we can get the right hip up without twisting the pelvis. So oh, right leg, sorry, up without twisting the pelvis. So exploring the openness you've got here. And then when you're ready, you can stack the right hip on top of the left hip and then bend the right leg, flex the right foot. So you've got your open, uh, open naughty dog, taking the knees away from each other, expanding the space between them. 
And then we're going to lengthen the right leg, drop the right hip back to its neutral position. Inhale as you look forward. Exhale, step the foot all the way to the front. Very good. Drop your left knee down, opening your chest. Keep your left hand in contact with the floor and draw your right hand, looking to the right, up to the ceiling. Here, we're gonna roll the shoulder blades together and make big circles. So you're gonna drop the right hand down towards the right hip and then sweep the right hand forward. Look where your hand is going and reaching the hand over the head. So a nice big circle with the arm and the shoulder. Let's do another one, inhaling as we reach forward and up and open, exhaling as we reach down and back. Inhaling forward and up and open, exhaling back and down. Last one, inhaling forward and up and open, exhaling, hand comes back to neutral, turn to look at the front, inhaling and exhale, step both feet to the front into a standing forward bend. Take a moment here, soft knees, turning the backs of the hands towards the mat, maybe lengthening through the crown of the head, doing a little uh, neck release if needed. And if you feel that you've got stuff to let go of, you can breathe in through the nose here and exhale through your mouth. And then when you're ready, firm your belly, inhale as you look forward, Reach the arms out and up and lift. And exhale the hands to Namaste. Same thing on the other side, but slightly different variation on the plank. Inhale as you stand tall in Tadasana. Shoulders down, crown lifted. Exhale, hands to the center of the chest. Inhale, reaching up, opening the front of the body, firm in the belly. Exhale as you fold forward, soften the knees if you need to. Inhale as you step the left foot back, taking the knee down. And here, remember, you can have your legs straight and knee off the ground if you like. Knee down or back toe tucked flat. Inhale, press into the front foot, lift in the belly, lift the arms up and really open here. Try to create a nice length through the front of the body. We're going to inhale as we come gently out of this lungy position and then exhale into the lunge, still firm in the belly. Inhaling up, exhaling down, control of the buttocks as well as the abdominals. Inhaling up, exhaling down, inhaling up, exhaling down. We're doing just one more, inhaling up, exhaling down, and then releasing the hands down, we tuck the back toe, inhaling, and hold your breath briefly as you come into plank pose. Then let your breath become normal. And we're going to take our feet wide apart, drop the feet down to the left side, lift the hip, lift under the arm, and reach the right arm up into the air. Draw the shoulder blades together, firmly holding here, Lengthening through the crown of the head so the neck is free. It's not um, constricted by the movement at all. And then very gently releasing the right hand down to the mat, looking forward and exhaling knees, chest, chin to the floor or forehead if you prefer. So when we come down, we're going to take two deep breaths. So taking the hands to support the head in any way that feels good. Toes towards each other, heels apart. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. This time for our Cobra variation, we're going to reach our hands down behind us. Interlace the fingers if that feels comfortable. If not, just turn your palms towards the floor. Interlacing the, the fingers if you can, bringing the thighs together, pressing the pubic bone down but lifting the belly muscles, roll the shoulder blades towards each other and lengthen the arms. Then as you inhale, 
lift the head and the chest, keep your feet on the floor. And as you exhale, releasing down, keep the arms in play behind the body. Inhaling up, firm in the belly, exhaling down. Inhaling up, let the back of the heart lead the movement. Exhaling down. We'll do two more, inhaling up, exhaling down. Inhaling up, exhaling down. Relax the arms, take the hands underneath the chest, or either side of the chest, sorry. Tuck the toes and come up into your extended child's pose. So hips towards the heels. And here, if you want to, you can tuck the toes flat and just turn the palms upwards to get a different stretch underneath the shoulders, underneath the armpits, sorry, across the arms, across the top of the back. Deep breath in, softening the features of the face. Deep breath out. Another deep breath in. And deep breath out. And spreading out the hands, palms to the floor, tucking the toes and pressing up into your downward facing dog. And spend a few moments just making sure your hands are really strong here. Bring the feet towards each other. And we're going to point the left toes backwards, the belly muscles really firm. And then float the left leg just up to hip height. And we're feeling if that feels good and what feels engaged to hold us here, making sure that we're still pressing the chest towards the thigh, still firm in the belly. Then lifting your left leg up as far as you can um, without twisting the hips. So trying to keep the hips quite neutral. And then when you're ready, you can turn, turn the left hip on top of the right hip, and bend the left knee and flex the left foot. Try not to dump the right shoulder towards the floor. So keeping the upper body quite even. That's why we've gone into it in stages. Taking another breath in, knees apart, breath out. We're gonna lengthen the left leg, drop the left hip back to its neutral position. Look forward as you inhale, and as you exhale, step the left foot all the way forward to the hands. Drop the right knee down, leave the right hand on the floor, Firm in the belly, turn to the left and just lift the left arm up the side of the body so you come into this beautiful twist. Here, try to avoid letting your left knee come away from your body. We want it towards the body for this twist. We're gonna release the left hand down behind us towards the hip behind and turn the upper body and the head as the hand comes forward. Inhaling, reaching up and open. Exhaling, reaching the hand back and down. Inhaling forward and up and open. Exhaling back and down. Inhaling forward. Exhaling back. Just one more. Inhaling forward. And exhaling back. Release the hands back to neutral, turn to look forward, inhaling here, and then exhale as you step both feet to the front, release into your forward bend. Really soft in the knees, turn the back of the hands towards the floor if you can easily reach. Hold elbow to elbow if you can't easily reach the floor here. So soft knees, doing whichever of these variations you like the best. Do a gentle nodding of the head and twisting of the head. Taking a deep breath in, maybe sighing out through the mouth. And then we'll prepare to come up, engage the belly, look forward, inhale as you reach the arms out, pivot from the hips, reaching up, and exhaling hands to Namaste. Release the arms to the sides. Have you got one more in you? Maybe, yes, let's do one more. Exhaling hands to Namaste. Inhaling, reaching up and opening the chest. Exhale as you fold forward, soft knees when you need to. Inhale, step the right foot back, but keep the knee off the floor this time as we come forward into the lunge position. So we really want to be very, very firm in the legs here. Press the back heel back. 
imagine that you're drawing the hip bones into the hip sockets, not the hip bones, the thigh bones into the hip sockets and feel what that does. So if you relax that and then engage that feeling, it's like you're drawing everything into your center and making it strong. The feet are strong, the buttocks are strong, the legs are strong. Firm your belly and breathe in. Take your hands to the top of your left thigh. Ooh, she says, left thigh. Don't turn to look at the camera. There we are. And then from here, you can bring the hands to Namaste if that feels comfortable. And if that feels comfortable, you can reach the arms up over the head and open the chest. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. One more deep breath in. And then as you exhale, float your hands back down to the floor. Coming into your plank pose. If you enjoyed the side plank we did last time, you can stick with that one if you know that that's for you. If you prefer side plank with the feet together, moving the feet together, firm in the belly, turning the weight onto the outside edge of the right foot, lifting the hips, and then lifting the left arm up, lengthening through the crown of your head, draw your shoulder blades towards each other, make the whole body strong. If you really want to, you can float your left leg off the floor. Take a deep breath in. And a deep breath out. And then very gently coming back down to the mat. So trying not to thump down, trying to be really floaty. And then from plank, inhaling. Exhale, knees, chest, forehead or chin. Point the toes, we're going to reach the hands out in front of us. Excellent. And we're going to reach the feet back behind us and forehead to the floor. And we're going to do something called um, a swimming bow. Ian and Lindsay, I talked to you about this on Thursday. So pressing the pubic bone down to the mat, firming the belly. We're going to inhale and lift the arms and legs up off the floor. And then we're going to exhale and release down. Pubic bone firm, belly firm. Inhale, lift arms and legs up. And exhale and down. This time we're going to hold for a little bit longer. So firm in the center. Inhaling as you lift. And then you can do a little swimming bow. So you reach the right hand towards the right foot behind you. And you come forward. Still with arms and legs raised. Reach the left hand to the left foot behind you and then forward. Let's see if we can do one more to each side. Reaching right hand to right leg and forward. Reaching left hand to left leg and forward. Reach arms and legs up and relax down. Hands underneath the shoulders, forehead to the floor, stretch out the back of the neck first and then when you're ready come into extended child's pose. Take a deep breath in and a deep breath out. One more deep breath in. And deep breath out. We're going to tuck the toes under, come up into downward facing dog, firming the hands into the mat, stepping the feet together. So this time we're going to do fallen triangle as our variation. So taking your weight onto your left foot, firm in the belly, float the right foot up behind you. Look forward to begin with. And then exhale the right knee into the right, into the chest and bringing the shoulders forward over the hands. Inhaling back into your three-legged dog, lifting the right leg up behind you. Exhaling forward. So a little bit like a tiger, but in a dog position. Inhaling, look forward, lift the leg. Exhaling, knee into the chest. From here, take your right foot between the left hand and the left leg. Take the weight onto the edge of the right foot. You've got an extended leg and you press through the right hand and the left foot and reach the left hand up into the air. You don't need to do that bit if you don't want to. Uh, if you do want to, that's great. And then here, if you want to, you can reach the left hand even more open. So reaching it right behind you. If that suits your right shoulder, not if it doesn't. Deep breath in. Deep breath out and then floating the left foot back, left hand rather back to the floor, knee into the chest, lengthening the right leg up as you look forward and exhaling, step the right foot all the way forward to the hands, 
keep the left knee off the mat. Keep your left hand down, left knee centered over, uh, sorry, right knee centered over the right foot, and then gently twist towards the right, lifting the right arm up into the air. Draw the shoulder blades together. Keep your thigh and your torso towards each other. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. We're going to float the right hand down, looking forward. Step both feet to the front. Fold into your forward bend. Turn the backs of the hands down or hold elbow to elbow. Make any movements with your neck that feel good. Deep breath in. Exhale through the mouth. One more like that. Deep breath in. Exhale through the mouth. To come up, look forward. Lift the belly, lift the arms, lift the chest. Reaching up. And exhaling namaste. Taking a moment to breathe in as you stand tall. I'm really sweaty now. I hope that you are too. And then we'll come exhaling namaste for the final side. Inhale, reaching up, lifting the belly, opening the chest. Exhale as you fold, soft in the knees, hands to feet, head to knees. Inhale, step the left foot back, but keep the knee off the mat. And just keep your breath going nicely with the right knee over the right ankle. I'm going to press into the back leg, firm the legs, firm the belly muscles, and bring the hands to the top of the right thigh. If that feels okay, you can bring your hands to namaste, drawing the shoulder blades back towards each other, lifting in the belly. And if that feels good, you can reach the arms up and over. And we're just simply holding whichever of those positions feels good. You can even keep your hands on the floor. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. One more. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. We're going to float the hands down to the floor. Set the palms and come into plank pose. So we're doing a side plank again. You can have your feet side by side or together, rolling onto the outside edge of the left foot, lifting the left hip away from the floor, lifting the right arm up towards the ceiling. So here, really firm in the belly, firm in the arms, firm in the shoulders, floating the right leg off the floor, uh, off your left leg if you want to. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. And when you're ready, floating your right foot down, coming back into your plank as gently as possible, exhaling knees, chest, chin, or forehead to the floor. Here we're going to uh, relax the forehead to the back of the hands for two breaths, toes together, heels apart. And so now we've got uh, options. You can do another swimming bow if you'd like to, or you can do a variation on Salabhasana, um, which I'm going to show you now, which is the, the locust. So forehead to the floor for Salabhasana, rolling the palms towards the floor with the hands down by the sides. Press your pubic bone down, roll your shoulder blades together, lift your belly muscles. And then when you're ready, you inhale, arms, legs, and head up. Keep reaching the fingertips back towards the feet. The idea is not to lift the feet really, really far off the floor here, but to make almost like a, a, a rocket shape, a really, uh, I don't know what the right word is, <laughs> but as if you were flying through the air. Um, so let's go with that. We're going to take a deep breath in here. And a deep breath out. One more deep breath in. Roll the shoulders maybe a little higher. Feet just a touch higher. Hands just a touch further back. And then exhaling, forehead to the floor. Hands underneath the shoulders. And press back into extended child's pose for a couple of deep breaths. Spread your fingers, firm your hands, come up onto your toes, come up into your downward facing dog and bring your feet towards each other. 
So we want our, um, what do we want? When do we want it? Oh yes, we want our feet firm, bellies firm, shoulders firm. We're going to do uh, three dynamic um, dog positions with our one-legged dog. So breathing in, lift your left leg up, look forward. Breathing out, bring your knee into your chest, lift your knee towards your chest and chin to chest. Breathing in and up, breathing out, knee to chest, chin to chest. Breathing in and up, breathing out, scoop the knee in and then from here, reach your left foot between your right hand and right foot. Twist to the right, lifting the right hand off the floor and lifting the hips and the shoulders away from the floor. If you want to here, you can open the right arm back behind you to open the chest. Take a deep breath in and a deep breath out. One more maybe. And a deep breath out. We're gonna float the right hand back to the floor, twist back into our one-legged dog and reach the left leg up, look forward and then step the left foot to the left hand. So here, we've got the right knee off the mat. We're gonna leave the right hand down. And, oh, yes. And we're gonna do a gentle twist to the left, opening the chest, anchoring the, the um, thigh bones into the hip socket. I hope this is what I did on the other side. I can't remember now we're here, but it's all good. So we're just going to hold for one more deep breath and deep breath out. Then we're going to float this hands down, look forward as we inhale, exhale both feet to the front, hands to feet and head to knees. Turn the backs of the hands towards the mat, hold elbow to elbow, soften your knees and maybe bounce, uh, not bounce, but gently turn the head from one side to the other or nod backwards and forwards, roll the shoulder blades down the back if you need to create a little bit more space for the sides of the neck. And we're gonna roll up from here. So firming the feet into the floor, bending the knees a little bit deeper, draping the hands to the floor if they're not already there, tucking your chin to your chest and rolling through the spine. Rolling up one vertebra at a time. And as you begin to stand tall, opening the chest, drawing the shoulder blades back and down, lengthening through the crown of the head, turning the palms forward. Deep breath in. And then bringing the hands to Namaste. Lifting your chest, taking your chin towards your chest. Feeling again that gentle stretching. Smile to yourself. A, it's over, and B, you've done all the yoga. And when you're ready, raising your head, releasing your hands, and opening your eyes. Hair is akimbo again, but well done, guys. That was a, a very vigorous practice. It's extra super hot here because the conservatory doors are open, pumping heat into the rest of the house. Um, so I've become very sweaty. Um, but if you need to stop for a, for a glass of water, then this is a good time. I'm going to do that for sure. And I'm just going to make an adjustment through here so that um, the banging doesn't happen when we're doing our yoga nidra. But we're going to go from here into yoga nidra. So get all of your equipment that you need to be comfortable ready. Okay. There we are. That should uh, mean that we don't hear too many of the bangs and creaks as, as we go. 
So as I said earlier, I'm going to sit for Yogi Nidra because it's, uh, well, it's hard not to fall asleep when I'm teaching it if I'm lying down. But for you, it won't make, uh, won't make any difference because you will be lying down and hopefully very comfortable. So making yourself as comfortable as you can. You want to maybe begin to ease the knees into the chest a few times and uh, ease through the back if you need to. Releasing as much tension as you can from not just this practice, but uh, your day to date. I'm using a little bit of extra support for my legs because I'm going to hold this position for quite a long time. Super. Be warm as well. So you might be quite sweaty or quite warm at the moment. Uh, but as we progress through the yoga nidra, you will cool down. And so uh, just in case anyone hasn't done yoga nidra before, yoga nidra, nidra means sleep. So this is uh, yogic sleep. Um, it's a practice of very deep relaxation. And it's usually used with a sankalpa, a positive affirmation. It could be anything, um, but positive is important. So for example, it could be, I am calm and relaxed. Usually an I or a me statement or I or my, my mind is at ease. My body is relaxed. Um, often people use yoga nidra to affect a change. So something that you don't feel. So for example, at the moment I'm working with, I enjoy a deep sleep because at the moment I'm not sleeping very well. So that's um, something I've worked with. And in the past, when my MS has been particularly bad, I've used my body is healthy and vital, um, which helped me to feel like it was even when it wasn't. So with a Sankalpa, we can create a positive groove in the mind of a new habit or thought pattern that we want to achieve. So whatever you choose, you're going to be directed to repeat this in your mind throughout the practice. And in Yoga Nidra, it's, it's quite uh, common to drift. So you might uh, drift away and then hear some instructions that appear to make no sense. Don't worry too much about it. Just absorb whatever you can hear and allow your mind to be guided. As we go through the body, I'll mention, uh, first we have a body point awareness. So I mention each part of the body, like the right hand thumb, first finger, middle finger, ring finger, little finger. As each body part is mentioned, allow your awareness to go to that part, allow it to soften and relax completely, and then move to the next part. After body point awareness, we do a little bit of uh, sensation awareness, breath awareness, if we've got time for it, um, and then uh, maybe a little bit of sound awareness as well. So, bringing yourself into Shavasana, if possible, any reclining position is okay. Closing your eyes. Take a deep breath in, sigh out through the mouth. And repeat three more times, a deep breath in, let all of your effort go. <sighs> deep breath in, let your muscles begin to relax. <sighs> deep breath in, surrender down into your mat. Allow your breath to fall back into its natural rhythm and fall away into silence. Take your awareness into your forehead, feel it soften and spread. Feel the area around your eyes relaxing. 
your mouth, tongue and jaw releasing. Allow the whole of the body to feel heavy, warm, supported, releasing and relaxing a little deeper with every exhalation. Before you begin your yoga nidra practice, bring to mind your sankalpa, your positive affirmation, and repeat it slowly in exactly the same way three times in your mind. And then bring your awareness to your right hand. Your right hand thumb, first finger, middle finger, ring finger, little finger, the back of the hand, the palm of the hand, the right hand, the right wrist, forearm, elbow, upper arm, shoulder, armpit, the right side, right waist, right hip, right thigh, the top of your knee, the back of your knee, calf, shin, right ankle, the heel of your foot, the sole of your foot, the top of your foot, the right big toe, second toe, third toe, fourth toe, little toe of the right foot. Bring your awareness to your left hand, your left hand thumb, first finger, middle finger, ring finger, little finger, the back of your hand, the palm of your hand, your left hand, your left wrist, forearm, elbow, upper arm, shoulder, armpit, your left side, left waist, left hip, left thigh, the top of your knee, the back of your knee, Car, shin, your left ankle, the heel of your foot, the sole of your foot, the top of your foot, your left big toe, second toe, third toe, fourth toe, little toe, of your left foot. Move your awareness back to your right hand. Your right hand thumb. First finger. Middle finger. Ring finger. 
the little finger, the back of your hand, the palm of your hand, your right hand, your right wrist, forearm, elbow, upper arm, shoulder, armpit, your right side, right waist, right hip, right thigh, the top of your knee, the back of your knee, calf, shin, your right ankle, the heel of your foot, the sole of your foot, the top of your foot, your right big toe, second toe, third toe, fourth toe, little toe of the right foot. Move your awareness to your left hand, your left hand thumb, first finger, middle finger, ring finger, little finger, the back of your hand, the palm of your hand, your left hand, your left wrist, forearm, elbow, upper arm, shoulder, armpit, your left side, left waist, left hip, left thigh, the top of your knee, the back of your knee, calf, shin, your left ankle, the heel of your foot, the sole of your foot, the top of your foot, your left big toe, second toe, third toe, fourth toe, little toe of your left foot. Bring your awareness to the whole of your right arm. the whole of your left arm and both arms together. The whole of your right leg, the whole of your left leg and both legs together. 
your right buttock, your left buttock, your right shoulder blade, your left shoulder blade, the length of your spine, the whole of your back, the back of your neck, back of your head, top of your head, both sides of your head, your forehead, your right eyebrow, your left eyebrow, the space between the eyebrows, your upper eyelids, your lower eyelids, the touch point of your eyelids, the length of your nose, the tip of your nose, your right nostril, your left nostril, your right cheek, your left cheek. your upper lip, your lower lip, the touch point of the lips, your tongue, your chin, your jaw, your throat, your right collarbone, your left collarbone, the right side of your chest, the left side of your chest, the center of your chest, the whole of your rib cage, your diaphragm, your abdomen, your navel, the right side of your pelvis, the left side of your pelvis. And now bring your awareness to the whole body together. The whole body together. The whole body together. And repeat your sankalpa, your positive affirmation in your mind three more times.
Now bring your awareness to your breath. Begin to count your breath. Counting your breath one as you breathe in. Two as you breathe out. Three as you breathe in. Four as you breathe out. Carry on like this up to 10. And then start again from one. If you lose count, simply starting again from one and counting as you breathe. At the end of your next exhalation, allowing your awareness to move away from your breath and into your feeling sensation body. Allow the feeling of your body to become really heavy. Imagine your body becoming more solid, more dense, heavier. Perhaps your body is turning into stone or metal, weighing more, feeling gravity more. Allow this feeling of heaviness to be in the whole body. The whole body dense, solid, heavy. And then release those feelings of heaviness. Allow the body to become a lighter. Allow the body to become as light as a feather. Becoming much less dense. Changing from solid to gas. The spaces between the molecules of your body increasing, expanding. So light. The body almost floating away from the floor.
feeling a light, full of light, ethereal, almost intangible, perhaps translucent lightness in the body. And then allow your body to become its normal shape, its normal texture, its normal solidity, its normal weight. And bring to mind a time when you felt really, really warm. So hot. Hot perhaps because the sun was beating down on your skin. Or you were in a really hot place, a sauna, a desert. Your clothes were really warm. Allow that sensation of heat to come from within the body, move through the whole body, warming every structure every tissue, that feeling of immense heat from within, feel it in the palms of your hands, the soles of your feet, the back of your neck. Embrace this feeling of warmth through the whole body. Then release the warmth. Imagine it is blown away from you. A cooling breeze takes the warmth away. And bring to mind a time when you felt really cold. A coolness touching your skin. Cold in your fingertips, your ears, your nose, your toes. A deep cold from within the center of your being, cold in your bones, a shiver down your spine. Allow the sensation of coolness, coldness through your whole body. And then release that cold as if you've been wrapped in a warm blanket, a warm breeze touching your skin, bringing you back to your normal temperature, your normal state of being. Bring to mind your sankalpa, your positive affirmation, and repeat it three more times. And begin to become aware of your body again. Feel the sensation of your body resting on the floor. Feel the contact between your body and the floor.
gently begin to deepen your breath. Bring your awareness back into your fingers, your hands, your toes, your feet. Moving them gently, rolling the wrists, the ankles. you feel ready, taking a deep breath in and stretching the body in any way that feels good. Yawning if you'd like to. Stretching the arms wide or long. Stretching the legs. Bending the knees into the chest, hugging them towards you, making any movements with your back, your spine, your neck, that feel good. When you're ready, you can roll to one side. Just spend a moment on your side, allowing your body to come around a little at a time. In your own time, coming into any comfortable seated position, keeping the eyes gently closed if you can. If you're not ready to come up yet, just stay where you are. If you're upright, rubbing the hands together vigorously, getting lots of heat into the hands, movement into the arms and shoulders, pressing the palms firmly together, rubbing them really fast, and then placing the hands over the eyes. Feel that warmth soften, release the area around the eyes. Blink into your palms a few times and release your hands down as you open your eyes. Namaste guys. It's been cool over here because my legs are falling asleep slightly.